Oh, well, we wait to assess the situation with the lion cubs. We're just waiting for Karula to return to her two mischievous little monsters. And Hoxana is being stalked by his sister Shungile. And Shungile is going to automatically become Shungi. I can guarantee it. <laughs> Shungi is going to become her nickname. Just a little pattern of spots hidden behind the trees. I'm going to keep the repositioning down to an absolute minimum. Then we can keep our impact on them absolutely minimal. <laughs> so you'll have to bear with a view that is not sterling, but things will change once a Karula arrives. <laughs> you know, a wonderful question through from Eric is that perhaps the leopard cubs got a memo from the lion cubs or that they are the memo that they were being upstaged <laughs> because they've never seen them play so much this is so wonderful a marvelous sighting bouncing around having an absolute whale of a time keeping each other entertained and of course it's also their age that now they are old enough to be playful and coordinated enough to know that they can play safely without having to run away from any potential predators. But you're absolutely right, it is so wonderful to see them play like this in the morning sunlight. I mean, oh, well, there's my tail. And anything is <laughs> a, a toy when you're a leopard cub, including your own tail. And look at that, they are just now they're like perfect little miniatures of mom, almost, maybe a little bit fluffier. Thickling down, exploring, getting restless though. I think waiting for mom is starting to take its toll on them. Probably feeling a little bit hungry. But 24 hours is not too long. She could leave them for up to three days, although I don't think she's going to. At any moment now, we could hear the call of Mom as she reunites with her little ones. She may even have been back here at some point during the night to come and check up on them, say hello. Where are you going? Where are you off to? <laughs> that was you, you silly thing. That was you that caused that mudslide. <laughs> It's so cool that they feel comfortable enough to even come closer to the vehicles. Or to the vehicle, it's just me at the moment in the sighting. Taking a tumble down into the drainage. Here comes number two. Where did your brother go, little one? What's he up to? Is he full of nonsense? Oh, she's gorgeous. Those brown eyes are just so wonderful. Oh, I'm a hunter. Look at that. Stalking instinct. Come on, girl. You've got the height advantage here. Get him. Get him. exhibiting every sign of the behavior that will make her a fearsome hunter when she grows up. She's got another year and a half, well, she's got another year, maybe another year and a half, before she is out all alone, fending for herself. Her brother has a little bit longer. Yes, there we go, get him. Oh, how did he do, how did he do that? <laughs> He's... Her brother is a, an artist at this. He got to the top of the drainage line without me even seeing that. I'm not sure. I've lost both of them. Okay. Yeah. Hmm? You've got her still. Okay. There he goes. Now, as I said, we're not going to reposition when we can't see them. We're going to let them 
come out of the drainage line rather than us down into it because if I were to reposition now I would be way too much in their personal space and I don't want to do that. Driving on top of a drainage line this steep it will make them feel trapped and scared.